Hey, good morning, my VBS friends. I'm so happy to be with you here in Craft for a Summer of Miracles, day three. And we are learning all about Jesus's miracle of the loaves and the fishes today. Let's check in with our journals. I have been blown away by the pictures that you all have sent. Thank you so much. Keep them coming. You guys, everybody is loving seeing what you have created at home, especially in your journals. I, you guys are just blowing me away. So let's just kind of take a look. I did get caught up in my journal. So there's some pictures that I'd love to show you just to see, um, maybe give you some creative ideas. So for the title page where we say, for God, all things are possible, I drew a dove. And then I took um, some of the stickers from our sticker pack and put those on that title page. Then for day one, where we learned all about the manna and quail from heaven, um, I, and the verse for that day was, I am going to rain bread from heaven for you. So I made it look like it was raining and then I drew the jar that the people of God collected the manna in. Remember, it was called an omer. So I wrote that up at the top so that I would remember that. This one was kept overnight. So you see what's in it? It's got some maggots in it. So then from what we learned yesterday, when Jesus turned water into wine, and our verse for that day was do whatever Jesus tells you, I drew a wine glass and I put the sticker with uh, the two stickers that we have in our pack with Jesus and his mother Mary because remember it was Mary who encouraged Jesus to go ahead and start performing miracles um, so those are just some ideas for you okay so our verse for today and I've done some decorating but I can't wait to see what you guys do our verse for today is Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves. So I just drew, drew the two fish and the five loaves, and I wrote feeding of the 5,000, Summer of Miracles 2020. So it's up to you. I can't wait to see what you all create. Remember to send your pictures to Caroline at the church. And starting today, we have a really fun thing going on. We're going to have a contest, and I'm going to ask you two questions during craft. The, the first three people to get these questions right will win a very special prize, and it is good. So you're going to take a quick little video of you answering these questions and you're gonna send them to Caroline at the church, but you need to pay attention in craft for our craft for the day so that you know what the questions are and can send me the answers. I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Okay, so guys, we're making a really neat craft today. We're making our very own Jesus fish. I just love having a reminder around to remind me of the story of the miracle of the loaves and the fishes. So I thought making a fish that says Jesus would remind us of that. So here's what you're gonna need to create your very own Jesus fish. You're gonna need the template from your pack. You're gonna need some markers, scissors, tape. It doesn't be, have to be this kind of tape. It can be scotch tape or, or regular masking tape. Um, you're gonna need the popsicle sticks from your packet and you're gonna need some glue. So gather all of that up, and while you're gathering it, here's the first question for the day. So we've had three miracles so far. We had the manna and quail from heaven, we had Jesus turning water into wine, and now we have Jesus feeding 5,000 people with only two fish and five loaves of bread. So let's think about those stories, and I would like you to answer the question, what is similar about those stories? What are the similarities in the three miracle stories that we have studied so far? So 
short video, does not have to be long, and send it to Caroline at the church. Cannot wait to see what you come up with. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is color in the Jesus um, part of your fish, just from your template. Color that in and cut it out. So I've gone ahead and colored it in and cut it out. So now you're gonna to wanna to keep your template close by because it's gonna help you know how to line up your popsicle sticks. So I need you to go ahead and make the front of the fish like this. And why don't you go ahead and put your cut out Jesus right there in the template so you know it's gonna fit. So we're just lining them up. And if you get lost, just look at your example here. It tells you exactly how to line everything up. Okay, see how that works? Now we need to glue our pieces in place. So I'm gonna remove these two and I'll start with the, the front of the fish. Okay, so just a little dab of glue. You don't need to use a ton. So there I'm connecting the front of the fish and keep your uh, keep your Jesus where it is so that you can make sure you're lined up properly. All right, so now I'm going to do this section. Again, just a tiny little dab. If you use too much, it's going to take longer to dry. So let's see, am I doing this right? There we go. Yes. Okay, and then this last bit, you need two little dollops. Just a little bit right there and right there. Look at that. Okay. So guess what? We gotta be patient and let this dry now. So while it's drying, I want you to go ahead and think about um, the second question of the day. And to get you started, I'm going to read the Bible verse for today. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves. And you've got that in your journal, so you can look at it again. What does that remind you of in the church service? I know we haven't been to church in, in person in a long time, but what does that remind you of? Remember to take a video and send it to the church and there are prizes for the first three to get the answer right. Okay guys, I hope you were nice and patient and waited for your Jesus fish popsicle sticks to dry. It could take as long as overnight. So, you know, whenever you, whenever it's dry, you can get back and finish um, with the Jesus fish. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to tape the Jesus part into the fish. So I've got four pieces of tape. So I'm gonna start, let's see, it's gonna be like this. I'm gonna start by putting a piece of tape on the back of the Jesus portion. Then I'm just going to tape it to the back side of the popsicle sticks. Now this there, oh, that worked great. So look, it, in, but if it didn't work great, that's okay. You could take it off and reposition it, don't worry. So look, I could just take it off and if I wanted to straighten it up differently, I could do that. So then I've got my other pieces of tape. Actually, I, I do want to straighten that up just a tad. All right. So now I've got my other pieces of tape and I'm just going to put those on the back. You see what I'm doing? I'm just putting, putting the um, 
Jesus portion into place. And there we go. You can see some of the blue tape, so I might wanna work on positioning that a little. And if I have some tape that's showing through, I'm just gonna cut it off, it's no big deal. Now the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a color or multiple colors or do a design, whatever you wanna do, and you're gonna color the popsicle sticks. I did mine um, blue, but you could, you could pick orange. You know what, I'm just gonna straighten this guy up just a little bit because I can see some of the tape. Look, I took the whole thing off. I'm just giving you some ideas so you know that you can straighten it up if you want. Okay, I like that better. I like that better. Okay, so look, these these are great uh, markers. These are the the smelly ones, but it doesn't. You don't have to use those. Uh, you can use whatever you have at home. And so just color in your your popsicle sticks however you want your fish to look. And I cannot wait to see what your fish looks like when you're finished. Remember to go ahead and email your pictures and your videos answering the questions we talked about. Uh, go ahead and um, send those to Caroline at the church. And I just cannot wait to see how creative you all are.